Hey everyone, this is Walter, and I'm back here with someone I never talk about anymore, Chris Chan. Chris Chan is the prototype for lol cows, and doesn't really put out interesting content that often anymore. But we're here with emails that started in 2005, so let's get into it with Chris Chan, the Megan emails. Yeah, this is pretty old stuff. For reference, I was in the class of 2005, and I'm 37 now. So we'll see how awkward Chris Chan was, the age of 25 or so. And maybe decide which Chris is more awkward. Yeah, it's probably the one called Jesus Christ Chan Sonichu Prime. Mrs. Jesus Christine Weston Chandler, Sonichu Prime, the one avatar of all existence, the CPU blue heart of the Commodore consoles, and the one reincarnation of Jesus Christ of Nazareth himself. Okay, I'll stop reading there, but this is from Christine's new website. Maybe I'll read more about it soon. Let's start with the emails. Subject. Hi. Hi, Meg. I've just talked to my father about him coming one Friday. Currently, he's a bit under the weather. But if he feels better by this coming Friday, he'd like for us to get together at the McDonald's closest to the game and hobby place after the league play. I'll let you know for sure Friday. Thank you for the drawings you gave me. For your island's name, I feel that Paradise Island is a slightly better name. Every time I see your drawings, I get inspired to want to work more on my comics. So I'll be working more often on them. I hope you're still working on your Strawberry Pink story, because it fascinates me. I'll talk to you again soon. Stay sweet, Chris Chan. Yeah, Chris is not being subtle at all about his interest in Megan, and we don't even get to see what happens when he meets her in person. Though we'll get an idea about it here. Subject, Happy Holidays. Hello. Yes, I did watch the musical, and John and I agreed we officially hate that bad guy. We think he's kinda queer. I thought the ending was the best part. I like how Eternal Sailor Moon came out. We should try and find the fourth season that includes my favorite villains, the Amazonist Quartet. I heard they sing a lot with Chibiusa. I love the first season of that anime. It's got that old mono sound quality to it. I like anime that sounds vintage, but of course the American version redid all the music. Thank you again for such nice gifts, I wasn't expecting that. Although I really don't mean to be cold, but please don't try and advance on kissing me please. The truth is I don't want a boyfriend, because I don't desire and idolize boys like other girls. I enjoy being independent. So you see what I mean? It's certainly nothing personal towards you. I'm just a girl who doesn't care about loving guys. That doesn't mean I can't be friends with them though. Well, since I bought models and been working on them, I think the glue has made me ill. So in case I don't feel well enough to go on the computer, I'll go ahead and say, I hope you have a Merry Christmas and the holidays go well for you. Megan. P.S. No one in my family is autistic. Uh, I feel ill. I'm gonna take a nap watching Sailor Moon. Yeah, that guy was kinda queer. Now I'm gonna go watch Sailor Moon. Anyway, these emails are going to go on until 2008, and Chris is already trying to force kisses on her. I won't read this next one, but Megan is softly, yet firmly, telling Chris that she doesn't want an expensive gift from him. Common nice guy strategy. Buy her a DS with Nintendogs. Oh god, in the next email he starts calling her Meg-chan, and asks if she wants to ride a train with him. And just listen to what a smooth operator he is asking for her number. Megan, I'd feel much better if I could converse with you about these situations vocally, than written, because I feel a bit of tension from waiting a day or two for your reply. And I feel that our points would come across between us more effectively. I understand that you don't like to waste time on the phone, but how often do you receive calls at your house or cell from anyone other than telemarketers? So could I get your phone number, please? I know that I've given you mine a few times, so you have that. Love, with you always in my mind and heart, Chris Chan. Calling her Meg Chan and saying, love, with you always in my mind and heart? I feel like she should run. Anyway, well, I'm glad there is a new possible friend for you. So let me begin by saying this, however I mean no harm towards your feelings. It's flattering how you said your heart would remain strong to me, but I really wish it didn't. And here is why. I've told you many times I don't want a serious relationship with you, or any other guy for that matter. And so you really need to give up on me, because it'll only make you miserable. The fact that a fan has showed up may be a sign. You see, instead of spending all your energy looking for a girlfriend, you should lay back, take it easy, and open up. Then I think someone will show. You should try not to act so desperate. The way to spell it out and advertise yourself, passing girls may think it's strange behavior. Of course I understand your situation, but other people don't, and they may think, please don't get upset, that you were some kind of lech or molester. I know you're not, but you see where I'm coming from? So please do not waste more thoughts on me. Of course we are friends, but friends only. 
Please detach yourself from me and see if anything happens between you and this girl, and maybe your friends, okay? My wish for you is to find your own someone for yourself. Me, I'm just a heartbreaker. Of course, we live in weird times when Chris Chan actually does have fans, but this is a long time ago, and these were the first trolls reaching out to Chris. I think Megan is probably willing to say anything to get Chris to stop at this point. Yeah, although I'm not angry at you, I'm a little disappointed at your behavior. I'm really sorry, this may sound harsh, but it's the 100% truth about how I feel, okay? I know you know I hate guys, and I hate love, because I told you a million times. So why do you keep getting too close and touching me? I really don't like it at all. I know you said because you have feelings for me, and it's hard for you. But, I'm sorry this sounds mean, you really need to try and get over it. If you keep hanging on like that to someone who doesn't love you back, well, it'll only make you more miserable. You need to just accept the fact that I don't and will probably never love you, so you should just take a rejuvenating breath and move on. Here's a secret. Once, I actually liked someone, and I spent a lot of unnecessary energy and time thinking about this person and trying to spend time with this person. But when I finally admitted to liking this guy, I was bluntly refused. I wasn't his type. And he didn't even tell me that. I had to ask his friend. So when a guy doesn't like me, that's it. I don't like them anymore. If I'm not his type to be close to, then I'm not his type to be friends with. And what do you know? The same person thinks I'm a freaky Nazi thing. But don't ever, ever, ever repeat that to me or anyone else, okay? Although I was somewhat hurt, I've soon gotten over it. I don't even think I really liked this guy in the first place. It's like, I was experimenting? Oh well, he's not worth my time. So it was a fake love? Sometimes I don't understand myself. My mind and heart say two different things. But throughout my life, I've trained myself to ignore feelings for a guy. I don't want a boyfriend, and I won't give in. I won't allow it. Of all the hairbands, I love anti-love songs. Example, did you download Queensryche's I Don't Believe in Love? I don't. To be honest, I don't care for love. Period. Now I sound like that lady villain you have. But oh well, that's the real me. Also, this is a secret I've hidden away for a long time, because everyone would think I really was a freak. I only love animals. I love receiving affections from them, and I love being with them. In other words, I love animals more than humans. I absolutely hate how people treat them and are cruel to them. After all, animals were here on this planet first. And now look what we've done. We destroy their homes and destroy them. Animals that are endangered are all because of stupid humans. Their disgusting greed of taking their own fur. It makes me sick. Now you know the real me, but how do you like me now? When it comes to relationships, I'm a dangerous person. It seems I only break hearts. So for your own sake, please try to get rid of the lovey feelings for me. And we can just be friends. So please, don't touch me anymore, okay? I don't like it. And last Wednesday, you really had me pinned against the wall. Please give me more space. Wow, that was a very emphatic rejection. Also wondering if Chris actually tried the Kabadon. Sadly for her, I think her saying she has a boyfriend might be the only way to get Chris to back off, and she really doesn't want to go that route. That was at the end of June, so by mid-July she had to go over it again. Jeez, what kind of question is that? I honestly have no idea. You can't change your looks unless it's plastic surgery or something. I'm not the one you need to ask. I really don't know what you should do. You should sit down and try to think it out for yourself. Also, I'm just a little mad that I have to keep telling you to please stop touching me. It's like you're not wanting to listen to me. I tell you, then you say okay, but eventually you're back to the same tricks. And this time I really mean it. Even my other friends don't like it and think it's weird. So once and for all, could you please stop? You know I don't like it, so why do you keep doing it? It's not like you're going to try and soften me or something. So I don't want to have to tell you again, or I might get really angry. Because you know unwanted remarks or advances to a girl is sexual harassment, and I don't take that lightly, okay? So can you understand now? I am skipping around quite a bit. Going back to, are you copying me? I don't like it much when people get into something right after they find out I liked it first. When you said we had a lot in common, like Sailor Moon and My Little Pony, well who loved Sailor Moon first? Who collected My Little Pony first? Okay, I know I sound like a spoiled brat, but can you see what I'm trying to say? I don't like being too in common with others. I try to be different from others as possible. I personally don't like Pretty Cure that much. Mostly the reason is because you liked it first. And out of respect, I decided not to get into it, because to me, Pretty Cure is your thing. Like Sailor Moon and My Little Pony should be my thing, you know? 
I even remind myself not to tell of my other series I love, because I'm afraid the next day you'll have everything there is to get from that. So if I ever order something that's something you don't really know about, then just hand it over casually, like you didn't even see it. I should mention that Megan was pretty young at this time, maybe even still a teenager. And also that this was way before My Little Pony Gen 4, or Bronies existed. The prior generations were way more girly to the extent that it's really weird Chris was into it. And Megan is right, really. Chris was very transparently obsessing over her interests so he could say that they had so much in common. This picture really does show the relationship dynamic by the end, and Chris was never able to see it. Okay, thanks. You know I haven't talked to this person in a year. I'm not really wanting to get together with him either. Boyfriends aren't for me. Don't want him, don't need him. However, I can't say I like how you call him a lucky jerk. Why is he a jerk? Why do you call all guys that? Hate to be blunt, but that's a pathetic way to think. You don't go to a mall and buy a girlfriend. The thing is, the guys didn't take all the girls. The girls just didn't choose you. Quit blaming other men. Girls chose who their boyfriend was too. You should know, that girl so she loves has a boyfriend. But does he hate Knight or other guys? Just because you don't have a girlfriend, doesn't give you the right to hate all men. It's not their fault. The world doesn't revolve around you. And keeping this grudge will really get you nowhere. Personally, I think you shouldn't be so picky about what they look like. All you say is you want a pretty girl. Well, it's the inside that counts. After all, a pretty girl can have the personality of Satan. Meanwhile, an ugly girl may have a heart of gold. But you wouldn't even give a second look, would you? I often wonder, if I was an ugly girl, you wouldn't even come near me, would you? Which also makes me bring up something else. During the tag team, you yelled about how you didn't want to pair up with a beginner. Did it even occur to you how many little kids' feelings you just shattered? And so, if I was a beginner, would you say that to me as well? Or would you just pair up anyway because I happen to be a girl? Your insults and hatred towards other guys can offend me because it offends my brother. Well, sorry all that sounds mean, but I hope it gave you something to think about. I remember seeing a letter posted by you in Shoujo Beat. Then a couple issues later, there was a reply to that. Did you see that? Well, that girl was absolutely right. Ugh, hungry. Wait, Chris wrote a letter into Shoujo Beat? Like, did he honestly think he's the right demographic for that? Let's see if I can find it. This should be concentrated cringe. Riko Izawa, an absolute boyfriend, sort of has the same problem I do. She can't get a guy, and I can't get a girl. Here's my sitch. All the pretty girls are already paired up with some jerk, thus leaving me with none to choose from. Also, nobody can tell, off the bat, a paired up girl from a boyfriend-free girl. At first, it's equally hard for Rico to find a girlfriend-free boy. But then she is granted this wish where she gets a girlfriend-free boy, although he is a robot. Delivered to her doorstep. Lucky girl. I'm 23 years old. One would think I'd have gotten a girlfriend by now, but no, I haven't. I'm stuck in the situation where if my parents should pass away, I will be a very lonely virgin. Kristen Chandler Wow, this publication was for teenage girls. Why did they publish a letter from a 23-year-old incel? Either way, it's hilarious. In your November issue, a guy was complaining about how he couldn't find a girlfriend. Why is he only looking for pretty girls? There are plenty of girls who are not supermodel gorgeous whom he could date. It's not the outside of the package that counts, but the inside. A girl can be pretty on the outside, but might be mean and self-centered or have other problems. Whereas another girl could be plain, or even ugly, on the outside, but quite a beautiful, kind, intelligent person on the inside. If more guys would think about what qualities they look for in a girl, and make sure those qualities don't just focus on her outer appearance, they might just find a girl to go out with. Otherwise, many girls will think, why bother? He'll just leave me for the next pretty girl he sees. Eris. That being said, shoujo comics have notoriously pretty characters, so you might have to take that with a grain of salt. I also don't know if I trust someone named Eris, right? Okay, a lot of this stuff is boring, so I'd just like to read the progression in how Chris signs these emails. It gets really bad. Here's a cute rhyme scheme I've made up recently, inspired by a Wii commercial. On your GBA SP, create your me, and play it on Wii, with your PSP, hooked to the PS3, because it's fun, see? Okay, I'll check in again later, and I await your next email. You all take care. I'm thinking of you fondly, sweetie. Chris Chan, XOXOX. Doesn't that XO thing mean hugs and kisses? Things he's not supposed to try to do to her anymore? I have de-weeded Quickville, and I'm working on getting it back into shape. I look forward to our first Wi-Fi visit. 
please let me know the date and time you or I should have your slash my gate open. By the way, my DS's touch screen in the middle is out of order. I won't be able to touch the G key, so I will have to type the letters with my control pad and A button. It may be slower. I will await your email, or I may check in again later. You all take care. Thinking of you fondly and sweetly. Chris Chan. Heart, heart, heart. I think he's talking about Animal Crossing, but it's not exactly my area of expertise. Megan was currently in Kentucky on vacation and not messaging Chris, so he was escalating. I hope you all are safe and doing well. Take care. Thinking fondly of you, alongside Patty, bless her soul. Chris Chan, heart, heart, heart. I miss you a lot, but I'm okay. I still get a sweet, happy feeling every time I think of your fun wit, your charms, your pretty face, and the fun you and I have shared so far. I hope you and your family are safe and doing well. I hope to hear from you soon, and we'll send another message later on. XOXOXO. Your faithful friend who thinks fondly of you, Chris Chan, heart. Aside from all that, I think fondly of you lots. And I count down the days until you and your family return, as well as an email from you. I miss you so much, and I hope you all are well and safe. I got to go. The Simpsons are about to come on. Hey, I like you. Heart, heart, heart. Faithfully yours, Chris Chan. Okay, I think I'm going to end this video here, and we could jump pretty much right into Megan getting back and being pissed when I make the next one. So if you like the video, please give it a like. If you have something to say, make sure you let me hear it in the comments. I'll be reading them while the video is new. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more of the same. Big thanks, of course, to my generous patrons who help by supporting me more directly over on Patreon. It really helps me out. I'll be back soon with more Reddit content, and it's been another month, so maybe more Lucas. I should just hold out and publish The Lust of Lucas Werner on Halloween or something. Have a great day, everyone, and I'm thinking fondly of you, heart, heart, heart.